That's what I should be working on, but it's raining. So instead you get this. Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Chris, this is Dirty Trucker 08. And because of the rain, and my inability to stand in the rain because I just don't want to get wet. I started working on the car earlier, but it's raining. I'm not going to stand out in it. So today we're going to try and weld some coins. I have no idea if you can weld coins or not. I've got a piece of plate steel here. I've got an old penny, a new penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. And we're going to see if we can't TIG weld these onto some mild steel. Alright, so here we are. We've got our two pennies, our nickel, our dime, and our quarter. And we're just going to see if we can put a little tack on each one, if it'll actually hold or if it just disintegrates. I have no idea what's going to happen. Let's, let's see what they do. Well, the old penny's turning into something not super pretty. Let's see what the new one does. All right, the new penny fizzled, frazzled, and spizzled all over itself. I'm gonna clean this tungsten real quick. Looks a little better. Now that we've got that cleaned up a little, let's see what this nickel does. Now that nickel's actually doing pretty good. Surprisingly. Now I'm trying to start the bead off the edge on the mild steel and then bring the pool slightly towards the coin. That's, that's my goal here to try not just disintegrate the coin right off the bat. And it's eating the edges of them. And honestly the penny didn't do terrible. The old penny, clarification, the old penny didn't do terrible. The new penny just disintegrated it splattered all over the place through and my tungsten had to grind it down nickel seems to be doing pretty good now let's try the dime Now the dime didn't do terrible. Right on par with about the nickel, I'd say. Starting to eat a little bit of the coin. But I was actually able to, I believe, weld those together. All we have left is the quarter. Let's check it out.
Now it appears as though the new quarter, new-ish quarter, I think this was a 2017 quarter. It appears the quarter's going down almost as clean. I'd probably say not quite as clean as a nickel, but it's definitely welding together. I backed off the heat a little bit more on this one as I was kind of starting to pull that around a little bit to try and not erode the coin quite as bad as I had the nickel and the dime. Let's turn these around and see if we can't throw a little bit more bead on the old penny, the nickel, the dime, and the quarter. Well, even the old penny, whenever it starts to go, it's just letting off some weird colors. I think my tungsten's still good. Let's move on down to the nickel. Gave it a little bit bigger arc that time. A little bit higher, kind of just letting it kind of float around it. Let's try the dime. Same as the nickel. I held it a little bit higher, trying not to eat the coin quite so bad that go around. So all we have left is our final pass on the quarter here. And clearly I'm not a professional welder, but that's not terrible, I don't think. And now we know, yes, it is technically possible to weld coins to metal but I really would stay away from the new pennies they don't seem to hold up too well thanks for hanging out I'll see you guys next time